Hi everyone, I'm Sam from Grain and Frame and I wanted to make a really quick video and explain to you a little bit about the design of our extendable tables um, and how to, how to use them. So the design of the table itself, you can see here this is our six seater Boston table. We designed it in a way that still looked like our normal dining table. So whether it's extending or non-extending, the table itself looks exactly the same. So it's a really modular design. The way that it works is there are extension leaves um, that go either side and with e each extension leaf it can go an additional two people. So with a six seater like this one, if you had one end leaf that would go to an eight seater, if you had another end leaf um, that would go to a ten seater. Um, likewise we've got large dining tables which go from an eight to twelve seats. Um, which means that it's really modular design and uh, we're sure that we can find you um, the right dining table to fit your home. So this is one of our end leaves um, for one of our tables and what you'll notice is that the grain runs perpendicular um, so the opposite direction to the grain of the table. Now we do this so that there's strength in the extension leaf. If we ran them the opposite way the extension leaf would be really really weak. So we like to keep them as robust as possible and keep the, uh, the grain running the direction that we need it to. Um, these extension leaves are obviously stored separately to the table. So most customers put them underneath the sofa, underneath the bed, um, just somewhere that they're kept flat within the home. Um, and then if we flip this over, what you'll see is that this extension leaf has got two battens. These are used to secure it to the table, which I'll show you shortly. Um, and we've designed this in a way that the thumb screws that we use to secure it to the table also secure the battens to the end leaf so that you haven't got loads of parts that are really easy to go missing. Um, it's all stored within this one extension leaf. So when it's not in use, it's really easy to, uh, to, to look after. So here you can see the batten um, and I'm just gonna take two of the thumb screws that we had before and underneath you'll see uh, a threaded insert that's in there um, and then you just screw these in to secure the button. Okay so then we take the extension leaf and then we rest it on the buttons just like so. And then we take the other two thumb screws and secure that in position there. an overview of our dining tables and extendable dining tables, how the extension leaves work and why they're designed the way they are. So if you've got any questions please feel free to, uh, to drop us an email or give us a call, um, we'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks, bye.